you can scale flipping, you can definitely work on, on systems in the way of your team, right? Who's going to be your team? Who's going to be your agent? Who's going to build your trust, your land trust when you're flipping or your LLC? Who's going to be uh, finding off-market deals? Who's going to be your agent? Who's going to be your contractor? And those are things that you can definitely systemize and scale. Welcome to the How to Scale Commercial Real Estate Show. Whether you are an active or passive investor, we'll teach you how to scale your real estate investing business into something big. Hey, Joe, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you so much. I'm really appreciated. Hey, man, the pleasure is mine. There's same three questions I ask every guest who comes on this show in 90 seconds or less. Can you tell us where you started, where you are now, and how you got there? Mm, absolutely. Um, so I started, I, I, I used to, you know, I, I live in Los Angeles. I, um, I was in the film business before. And 10 years ago, I flipped my first house. And, um, you know, I started where you start with zero information, unless you're, you know, you're brought up into a family of real estate investors. I did my first flip. Uh, 10 years ago in Palm Springs and uh, 10 years later now, uh, you know, me and my partners have flipped over a hundred properties. Um, uh, we have rentals outside of California um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, you know, there's been a lot of lessons and a lot of growth and still today, you know, we're always learning. So um, I don't know if that that's 90 seconds and response to all of the other things that you asked, but we can fill out the, you know, whatever is, is missing. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Joe, that's a, a lot of moving pieces. When you compare flips to rentals, is there ever any um, look back? I want to say regret because, you know, it, I don't like that word, but any look back where you say, man, I wish I had held more as rentals or wish I'd flip more. Any any kind of thoughts? You back? Know, I think that, you know, I, I feel like as human beings, we're always looking at what we don't have. We're never a hundred percent, you know, we're always you know, chasing the cheese per se, right. who moved my cheese, great book, right? Uh, so, so, you know, there's always going to be, uh, 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 you know, either you move your cheese or someone moved it, or you didn't take action on something, uh, of course, you know, but I think that's ingrained in humanity. Um, you know, I think we're always going to look at like, you know, I wish I could have more rentals or I wish I could have, you know, hold that property that I sold, um, you know, but but that's, that's, you know, that's just humanity. Uh, I wish I would have, um, I would, I would have changed the pricing on a flip. I would have maybe listed a little bit shorter, a little bit lower so I could get a bidding war. And then it sat for a few extra months in the market. I wish I, I would have checked the license on that contractor. Right. Yeah. yeah. Those are, those are regrets. I was really just curious, you know, as you looked at building, building a passive income or building, building a, a machine that continued to produce an income, you know, was there ever any going, gosh, you know, I wish I'd held more rentals or was it, you know, those rentals? Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's everyone's wish, right. To have more, more passive income. Um, you know, yeah, it's, it's, uh, you know, we're actually looking right now and doing some Airbnbs as well. I've been, it will be my first Airbnb. I've, I've never done them. Um, so I'm actually looking at that market as well. Um, you know, there's the Arizona's, uh, there's the Vegas, there's the Palm Springs, New York. So I'm, I'm, I'm researching that as well. But yeah, rentals are incredible. If you can get, you know, if you can, if you can hold and, and have your renter paying the mortgage down while you get appreciation, while you get, while you get cash flow, while you have some strategies on the taxing, uh, the taxation of that, it's incredible. You can, you can do really, really well. Those are the four profit centers in, right. in rentals. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, let's talk about where you've been the last two years. This is what I want to spend the bulk of this show really talking about because you gave me kind of a behind the scenes test drive of a product you've been developing. One of the one of the things that we talk about a lot on this show is that flipping. I mean, there's there there are people who have done it right, and you're probably one of them. But flipping is a very hard business to scale just because there's always these moving components. There's, it's a different project every single time. It's not building, you know, the same home. It's not, it's, it's different projects and different geographies. And it becomes a very, um, as opposed to buying 300, you know, apartment units all in one place with dedicated staff, dedicated management. It's like, okay, there's a lot of moving parts. You've been doing, working on a product for the last two years. And I think it's pretty cool. Can you 
kind of tell us a little bit about what that is. Yeah. So just like you said, flipping has, you know, um, it has a lot of moving parts, but everything has a lot of moving parts. No, no commercial building is the same and escrow takes longer. Um, I, obviously, I, I love rentals just because obviously the purchase price is really important, but you look at more of the, the big term, long term strategy on a rental, on a syndication deal, on an equity partnership. Uh, flips is different. Flips is, it's, it all comes to one thing and it's the, the purchase price. Uh, in, in comparison to the location, and but it all comes to how much you buy it for. Where rentals, it's important how much you buy it for, but if you're going to hold it for 30 years, 20 years, 50 years, pass it to your kids, your grandchildren, it doesn't really matter in the big scheme, right? The purchase price, uh, where in a flip, it really matters how much you buy it for. So, you know, I, I created this system, this, this uh, I created, a, a, you know, a really robust uh, a systemizable approach to flipping to help people to help people to find off market deals to find to help people uh, to you know not to look for any contracts you got all the contracts you ever need over two three hundred contracts uh, all being checked by by legal um, by, by you know by by um, lawyers uh, systems that you know that. Um, um, uh, kitchens that I've done that I've done really well that you can download in 10 seconds and show it to your contractor so you can get a bid on, on the labor not on the, on the materials um, you know so th those are the things that are that are important that I think like if you want if you could scale if you can scale flipping you can definitely work on, on systems in the way of your team right who's going to be your team who's going to be your agent who's going to build your trust your land trust when you're flipping or your LLC, who's going to be uh, finding off-market deals, who's going to be your agent, who's going to be your contractor. And those are things that you can definitely systemize and scale. Right. So those are the things that you can't scale the art of flipping, but you can scale your team. Um, and, and, you know, I mean, if companies can flip 50 properties a month, why, why you can't just do four or five a year? Right. Right. Yeah, that's fantastic. When you looked at building out, which uh, I think you're underselling it, to be honest with you, um, when you when, when you gave me that quick, you know, behind the, the game, gave me the test drive, I said, man, that's, uh, you know, as someone who used to flip houses, um, now all, all commercial, but as someone who used to flip houses, I go, my gosh, like that's, that's pretty robust and pretty cool. And it's more than just a few contracts and some designer kitchens and some stuff that you can I mean, you've got it nailed down all the way, all the way down to where you can print off a like, okay, hey, this is the kitchen design we want to do. You can print it off with every single SKU number, every single price straight off of, you know, uh, supplier sites and go, okay, this is, this is the product I want to move forward with on this. That, that's right. And then we, we, we love working with Home Depot just because of that, because they're nationwide. So it doesn't matter what city, what state, where do you live in? You know, there's going to be a Home Depot around most likely. And, and if there's not, obviously you should not flip in that neighborhood, right? <laughs> but, but, but if there is one, that means there's a market, there's a business. And, and literally in 10 seconds, you can download a, sco a, a, a scope of work uh, with Home Depot. But either that applies also with uh, rentals and commercial. Right. Because that kitchen applies for everyone. You know, the two most important parts in, in either a property or commercial, you know, either a townhouse or rental is the kitchen and the bathrooms, right? Master bathroom. So, you know, the kitchen is the heart of the, of the, of the property. So um, you can use that in multiple uh, units in a building, or you can use it in a single family home. Right, man. Yeah. That's uh, that's really cool. And anyway, I'm not sure that I got into this. Uh, maybe I asked this question or maybe I asked it poorly, but what were some of the things when you set out to create this, that you said, Hey, these are the problems I want to solve in the flipping industry. Yeah, I think that the, the my biggest motivator or the fire, uh, you know, in the engine for me is for people to, you know, because I was able to solve a lot of the issues for myself as a flipper and doing it right, making mistakes. But a lot of people, you know, I usually I usually use the analogy like if someone comes to your account, your like personal like Chase or CD or whatever bank, whatever bank you have and takes five or $10,000, you're going to have a reaction, right? You're going to have a, a response about it. Right. But 
you know, and you're not going to be okay with that. And that's probably going to be because you're a fraud, someone doing that. But a lot of people never take action on one, two, three flips or in commercial, right? And they don't, they don't know what they don't know, but they're, they're literally missing the opportunity to make $50,000 for a quick flip. You do four, you do five, that's $200,000 right. a year that you're literally like, but you never complain because you never saw it. Right. So my commitment and my education that I created um, which name, the name of the company is called Real Success, um, is to getting people consciousness that they can actually do it. Because, you know, I feel like every single person has driven through a house that is dilapidated and they've thought about, oh man, if I knew how to flip a house, I'll be buying this house and I'll be flipping it, mm -hmm. right? So like, you know, like who hasn't seen driven by a house that is like falling apart and you're like, Oh man, I wish I had the tools to maybe like remodel that, that property. And this is why I created what I created so I can help people to get in. It doesn't matter where you are. And I have some systems, right? We, we have created, you know, certain checks and balances. You don't want to flip a house over six months when you start, right? You don't want to go over two and a half, three months and remodel. Right. You do want to do pool permits, you know, uh, over the counter permits, which are permits that you'll get them like within a few hours. Um, you do not want to add a story or open a kitchen and, and expand the kitchen or, you know, create more square footage for your house. Not when you start. Right. Yeah. Those are certainly more advanced techniques. That's, that's yeah. right. So, you know, we all have a problem. It's, it's, it's who's going to solve the problem. And the problem that I, that I'm aimed to solve in the world is getting people in, in the game. Hmm. Yeah. And that's, I mean, and, and having that, that pre-built system out of the gate, I think is so important. I don't care what, I don't care what you're doing. If it's multifamily, if you're doing self-storage, if you are doing uh, flipping without systems, you're, you're, you don't have a business. And you don't. yeah. And I think that's, that's really, really cool. What you've taken to, you know, to build out that platform for others to come get involved with. Was there, were there some learning things? I, I know you said, you told me this took a lot longer, which again, for those of you that can't see this yet, um, it's pretty robust. Were there, were there it was some things that you learned along the way as you documented your own processes and said, man, maybe as I teach this, I would maybe change the way we've been doing things. You know, it still, it still is to me. Like, I, I wish I could like touch so many more students and, and touch so many more people with this because it's literally like they can actually flip houses with this. Right. Um, so if there's any struggle, it's like, you know, exposing this to enough people that they actually know that they can do it at the end of the day. Um, you know, I, 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 you know, do I get the experience and then I flip or I flip and I get the experience through flipping, right? What's well with this, we, we literally we literally like help you in that first step. And, and yeah, like I, you know, we have over 15 kitchens that are the top sellers kitchens that I've done. And if you think about it as a first time flipper, um, when you, when you do your remodel, which is usually a lot of the money gets lost because you have control on the purchase price. You do have control on the purchase price, which if the price, the price is too high, you just don't buy it. Right. So you have control on that. And a lot of the times that I see a lot of the problems people have, are in the remodel. That's where people have a lot of issues. So if I can provide literally a, a kitchen with all the SKU numbers from Home Depot that you could literally send them that email and they will get the kitchen delivered in two weeks. So what I was thinking about, when you have a kitchen, you have like over 10 vendors, right? Countertops, um, you know, uh, floors, you have, you know, um, every, every single thing that a kitchen needs, appliances, um, you know, there's, there's, you know, even, even the, 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 the paint, right? The brand of the paint, the color of the paint, like every single thing that you need. Well, we have certain kitchens that, that sold more than others, mm. regardless of the market. So if you're a brand new investor, imagine having a kitchen. You have a hard money lender. You have a private money lender. You're on the hook. Every dollar, every day is like three, four, five hundred dollars, two hundred dollars you're paying to a lender. Right. So. What if like, and then, you know, are you going to order the, the windows? And then what, what is the, the event? You need, you need rough plumbing, rough electrical. 
you need drywalling, you need mud, there's like steps. So if you're able to order the entire kitchen before you get started, right. then you're like all the materials there. Then all you need is the contractors to fulfill those steps. And those are the big problems that we saw finding off market properties. This is a problem people have. Well, we have created, we have an algorithm. We have a, uh, we have, and I haven't even shown you that, but we have a, we have a system that we use where we could literally, I could literally send a thousand mails, um, um, uh, mailers to their house with a letter that I pre-designed that it literally in 10 seconds, we get county records and we have an algorithm. We send them the, we send them a, a letter and, you know, Literally, you send a letter, they get the letter in like a few days, and your phone is going to start ringing. And that could be for probates, pre foreclosures, foreclosures, fire damage properties, people that are out of town, that they own a property and out of town. We have so many like different strategies to, to get that. Man, yeah, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of different ways to go about that, especially on the single, single family side and uh solving that out of the gate for especially people who are just getting started in the flipping business is uh really really cool joe i've enjoyed this conversation and tell us again um you know, what was the what's the name of the platform it's called real success our the the website uh my website is called which the platform is not there this is only for students but the website is called ourrealsuccess.com so you can go there where we're lo locally in uh, in California, but we do events across America, across the U.S. Um, our next event, it's going to be locally in Los Angeles. Um, and, and, you know, just go online and look it up there. What's our next event? We usually do two, three day seminar seminars. And, and Sam, the reason why I, why, why I do this, this seminars is because you're able to get little pieces of information in life you go to like youtube and you capture this and that and that slowly you're learning but what if you could do a, a one two three day seminar right and learn off-market properties also for commercial um uh, we you know we, we do four unit three unit and we go over four units as well for commercial uh flips right um what if you could learn um you know how to find the money where to find the money legal documents are you going to open an LC per property, right? And this does apply to commercial. You're, you own a bunch of buildings. Are you going to have an LC own all the buildings? Are you going to, you know, I pro, I, what I teach is every, every property has a different, and we don't do LLCs. We do trusts. We do land trust, which you have a lot of isolation and, and it's really hard to, perf to really go through the, the, the veil of sec not secrecy, but like protection. It's right. called asset protection strategy. We I use land trust. Right. So every property I buy, so all these things are are, you know, you can learn pieces, but what if you could learn it in a day, two, three day event? Certainly. Yeah. And I know, especially getting started, this was uh I went to plenty, plenty of uh seminars and events where you, you do download a lot of information pretty uh pretty fast. And Joe, you've also written a whole series of books. I think you said you're you're a three or four time author. Uh, That's right. I actually have them right here. I got, I got three books, and I'm I'm about to publish my fourth one. That is really awesome. If our listeners want to get in touch with those, which which the titles of those are what? Finding your real success, flipping with real success. Yeah, it's finding your real success. Which, you know, this one is more like if you don't know if you should get in real estate or not, right. you can just get the book. Um, I I don't make any money in the book. I, I lower them so people could just read them and just order them on on Amazon, and I think like they're like. $10 and that includes shipping. And again, it's, this is all about people getting the book, reading it. Then we have uh, flipping with real success. And, and this is about all the secrets about flipping. Um, and then I have another one called rentals. And this is like four up to four units. It's considered residential, not commercial. Um, you know, but again, this is information, right? Reading this is probably not going to make an impact on the world of performance. Right. And if you do want to make an impact in the world performance, um, Sam, you can actually go to uh, twodayseminar.com or either two-day seminar or three-day seminar. Because sometimes we have three-day events. Sometimes we have two-day events. The next one is a two-day event. So if you go to number two-dayseminar.com, sign up. It's like 
you know, $195 for a two day event. And you can invite a guest, a spouse, a business partner. And, you know, if you're, if, you know, the next one is, is in LA, but we're doing them in different States. So just, you know, just get a hotel and, you know, we're doing it at the Sheraton, the next one. And, and it's just going to be, you know, massive value to get started. Man, that's fantastic. Joe, I've certainly enjoyed this. Let's jump into the final four questions. What is one tool or resource you find you can't live without? A resource inside of real estate or anything? Anything. Does your answer? What kind of resource I can't? I, I would say my fiance. That's, that's my number one resource. I can't live without her. I love it. I love it. Question number two, if you could help, if you could help our listeners avoid just one mistake in real estate, what would it be and how would you avoid it? I would just say, you know, oh man, I always go back to action. You know, just just take action. Obviously, it has to be, you know, I'm a big tennis fan. I play tennis. When I'm not working, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, it's my exercise. Instead of going to the gym, I play tennis. But I would say for, for many years, I, I took the wrong, I didn't have a coach. So I learned how to play tennis the wrong way. Right. And this applies to like any sport. Right. And, and um, so just take action, but take a, a, an action that, you know, it will make, it'll take, it'll make a result and it will be the, the right action because you can take the wrong action too. Awesome. When it comes to investing in the world, what's one thing you're doing right now to make the world a better place? You know, just sharing, sharing what I'm, what I built. Like I, it took me years to build it and now I'm sharing it around. Yes. Yeah, I know. You've devoted the last two years to building this platform. That's um, that's pretty stinking impressive. Joe, if our listeners want to get in touch with you, what is the best way to do that? Todayseminar.com. Todayseminar.com. Joe, thank you so much for your time today. I do appreciate it. Thank, thank you so much, Sam. Thank you for having me. It's always an honor. And, and yeah, just thank you for, for having me here. Absolutely.